good early morning. Meteorologist Matt Gray filling in for Mark Peterson for the next couple of days as he's out on the farm getting the harvesting done. And we have a much more active week of weather coming up, and that starts this morning. Morning clouds and thunderstorms in the region, and that humidity is coming back as well. It was really nice to not have that Sunday. We're not going to be as lucky for the rest of the week. Highs, though, today only going to be in the 80s, and we're going to continue to see isolated thunderstorms pop up each and every day in your extended forecast. As we expected, with the new weather system moving in, we've seen thunderstorms develop in Oregon. They are crossing the state lines into Washington and Idaho, and so we will see a relatively busy morning south of I-90. Now, around Spokane and Coeur d'Alene, I expect things to be fairly quiet for the morning drive. As we head to towards 10 in the morning at earliest, that's when we'll see some showers and storms begin to move into the metro area temperatures in the 60s moving up into the 70s for your morning so here's how things we expect first day of classes in pullman and moscow and it will probably be a little bit a uh, little bit rumbly as we get our day started once again just very scattered light showers popping up here on our forecast radar it's going to be so dry this morning still that it's unlikely we get much of any rain out of this really it's going to be a dry lightning threat around the Palouse and the Blue Mountains that's going to be the issue. Here's about 11 o'clock. I do expect more activity in North Idaho this morning than what we're going to see on the Washington side. Just uh, that's kind of the way I think the wind direction and the storm development is going to break. Pretty active afternoon potential for places like St. Mary's up the St. Joe River and into uh, the Silver Valley as well in Shoshone County. We'll also be looking in our northern counties to pick up a couple of showers popping up, showers and storms popping up in the afternoon. We should be wet enough our atmosphere by the afternoon that these will actually produce a little bit of much needed rain in the region. We'll also be looking for some storms around the Camas Prairie as well. So for Spokane and Coeur d'Alene in the afternoon, I expect things to actually be pretty quiet for your afternoon and your evening and we'll get some nice temperatures. Look at this. 90s still in Cobbville, Bonners Ferry, Lewiston into the Okanagan and down through the Columbia Basin, but 88 in Spokane and Coeur d'Alene's only 85. It's going to feel pretty good after a hot and hazy weekend that we just had. We'll kind of hover back and forth between the low 90s and upper 80s for the next few days. The next chance, I think, for the metro to get uh, have a decent chance for some showers or storms, that's going to be on Wednesday. We're looking for some breezy conditions Friday into Saturday, but a new trend we're watching is we're continuing to see those temperatures for the weekend cool down even more. So, hey, let's hope we keep that trend going and keep it on into next week as well. We could certainly use some cool weather here as we enter kind of the peak couple weeks for fire season in our region. We'll have another update here as we uh, head throughout your Monday. In the meantime, have a great morning. We'll catch you again a little bit later.